Well, it's uh, Wednesday of Holy Week, and today's the day that is called Spy Wednesday, referring to Judas. And so let's talk about Judas today. Two young boys in their early 20s were arrested uh, for conspiring to sell cocaine to some younger boys. And it made national headlines. We hear about these stories all the time. They barely make the local news. So why did it make national headlines? Well, it did because of where it took place, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. You see, two Amish boys conspired to sell cocaine to two younger Amish boys. It was, it was a shock that it could happen to them because if it could happen to them, it could happen to any of us. But it's also a shock because uh, two of their own had betrayed the Amish community values. You see, only when there has been trust and love can there be betrayal. Jesus loved Judas and Judas loved Jesus. And we can only betray those we love, who we love and trust. Only a son can be a prodigal son. Uh, some of you are relative strangers to me. I don't know you and you don't know me very well, and there's not really love and trust. So you, you can't really hurt me. You can say, well, I've heard better sermons than yours. Now, that might disappoint me, but it wouldn't really hurt me. Or you might say, hey, keep wearing those same clothes, and someday they'll come back in style. That might make me a little bit mad, but it won't really hurt me. The people who could hurt me most would be my children, and my very best friends. There's no pain quite like the pain of betrayal. It is the knife in the back. It cuts deeper than anything. It cuts so deep that we, we can't forgive Judas. Did you see the news that a couple recently had twins and they named their, their twins COVID and Corona? Parents, what are you thinking? You named your kids after a virus. Well, have you been to a gender reveal party for some close friends? And at the party, they reveal that it's going to be a boy. And you say, great. Have you picked out a name? And they say, yeah, we're going to, we're going to name him Judas. And you go, huh? Or they say, oh, we're going to name our son Benedict Arnold Davis, yeah, B-A-D. You go, what in the heck are you thinking? Yeah. You see, we don't forget. Mm -mm. We don't forget at all. Betrayal is so painful. The years don't seem to dull the impact at all. Did you know in the Bible, Matthew 27, verse 3, that it says that Judas repented? It's in the Bible. It said that he repented and returned the money. Why has the, the church been so harsh on Judas? Why does his repentance not count for something? Well, we love to point fingers, you know. It's some, we love to have a scapegoat. The truth is there's a little bit of Judas in all of us. We all carry the seeds of betrayal. Yes, we do. So Judas has been the church's scapegoat for centuries. Sure, he did a terrible thing, he re but he repented. But that doesn't seem to matter to the church. I want to declare today officially, forgive Judas Day. Maybe we need to make some t-shirts, have some cake and ice cream, throw a party. Maybe we need to say to Judas and to all who've committed betrayal, God forgives, and so do we. You know, Judas did not cause Jesus to die. Jesus chose to die doing God's will. And I believe that if Judas had lived, and if Jesus could have gotten to him first, then the outcome would have been so different for Judas because Jesus would have offered him grace. So a minister out in San Francisco, went into a, a public restaurant and written on 
uh, the mirror in the public restroom in, a, in blue letters were the words, Judas, come home, all is forgiven. Who would write that in a public restroom? I have no idea. Was it a father to a, a son? I don't know. Just hoping that his son might see it. Who knows? But it's the message from Jesus to Judas and the message from Jesus to all of us, to you and to me. Come home. All is forgiven.